Hello and welcome to Europocket News. Today is Friday the 11th of May and we'll talk about nuclear energy, communication in Europe and YouTube. Let's go! This week at the European Parliament, the centre of debate was the nuclear power and how to renew Euratom, the 50 years old European Treaty on Atomic Energy. Our representatives want more power to oversee what's going on and be able to check every step of this sensitive subject. As the German Grimm MP Rebecca Harms explains, there are thousands of accidents every year in nuclear plants and promoting nuclear as a sustainable energy source is misleading. But what is the price to pay? We could argue that according to a recent study published on the newspaper El Mundo, out of the 30 most polluting electric plants in Europe, 10 are located in Germany and 10 more in the UK, while none are in France, a country who chose to bet on nuclear energy. The debate is not new, and I guess having it on a European scale makes more sense. What do you think of communication in Europe? Our representatives are not satisfied. In nine years, there has been hardly any progress at all in the citizens' participation in European elections. With the next elections coming in 2009, they have two more years to change that. According to marketing experts, what Europe needs to do is stop considering citizens as one group, Europeans, and start addressing messages and help to exact group and communities rather than all the European citizens. But on the other side, as Margot Wallström explains, we don't want to sell Europe as a product either. And it is a European conscience that needs to be revealed. Would you like to quit smoking? Are you capable of doing it? If not, what's the hardest for you? Is it only the addiction to the nicotine? Or maybe the use of taking out a cigarette with your coffee? Or simply the fact that you feel more confident as a smoker? Whatever the reason, it is not good enough to quit using an e-cigarette. They look just like the real ones, they reject smoke, vapor in fact, using batteries, and they send nicotine to your lungs. It's just like smoking for real. It's the company SBT that created these cigarettes and sells them for the moment in Turkey, China and Israel for the price of $208. Expensive it seems, but you don't get that annoying smoking kills etiquette when you buy a packet. YouTube has just announced it will soon pay its most popular video authors. We don't know how nor how much yet, but it has already contacted between 10 and 30 users and private studios such as Smooth, Renato, Lonely Girl 15, the authors of million viewers videos. It wouldn't be a first in video sharing to encourage the posting of better quality videos, as Meta Cafes, for example, paying $5 for each 1000 viewers of your video. That might not seem a lot, but when you know that it can reach scores such as million users, you're one step closer to filming yourself running naked around a shopping center. And now from youthforhumanrights.org, human rights number 5, no torture. When I was walking home from school, they asked me for my money, so I said no. And all my friends ran home. Because they were scared, he might punch them too. I was screaming, but he just wouldn't stop. He always said he would hit me. I just didn't think he actually would. I don't know what I did, but they just kept on kicking me. They tied me up and dragged me outside. They stripped me of my dignity. She said she was going to teach me a lesson. He said I wasn't listening. I didn't think he'd get so mad. And that's it for today. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday for more. Bye bye.